Assalamu everybody, my name is Rahim. Welcome to Muslim React. Where we react to everything and anything Muslims are today. I'll be reacting to a video by Ali Dawa. Uh, the video uh, is titled Blonde Girl Shocks Muslim. I've, I think I've seen this lady before. I think she's called Muslim Blonde or something. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think it's called Muslim Blondie. So it's it's it's, it's kind of interesting. Stands as such, I called blonde girl stands Muslims. Same thing, shots Muslims. Yeah. Alright, so if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification button below so that every time I drop a new video, you'll be the first to see it. And please don't forget to leave me a comment, give this a thumbs up. Alright, so let's check out the video and see what how she stands Muslims. Curious. I found the seven-day free trial of the Quran app and it exceeded all my expectations. Brothers and sisters, you can build a habit with the Quran by seven-day free trial. Brothers and sisters, no credit card details required at all. And you decide for yourself, is it overrated or is it underrated? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Imagine you're on Instagram and you just randomly come across this video. Now, what would your first impression be? So just let's have a good look at this yeah okay so this sister may Allah bless her you see her and once you see her what is the first thing that comes to your mind now I'll be very frank and very honest when I see this video or if I wasn't not to play it there's a lot of things that would come to my mind for example I would have think and I am just have to be honest here I would have think that it's just a non-muslim girl um, she might be someone who does I don't know fitness uh, she might be someone that's talking about um, you know, cryptocurrency maybe, I don't know, yeah um, uh, She might be someone that goes clubbing on the weekend uh, She might be someone that's just into having fun in life uh, YOLO, you, live, um, you only live once um, So we generalise a lot And a lot of people does do this with us Muslims as well Now, let's see what this video was actually about Because this shows us a massive, massive lesson Let's watch that video and let's come back and learn some key lessons, inshallah. So I think the number one most important thing is you put the intention out there. So like for me, I have the intention, I will not go to bed, rest or relax unless I do my five for the day because I really, truly don't think I deserve to lay my head down and go to sleep unless I've given the creator the time that he is deserved and owed, to be honest. So set your intention because if you don't have that intention, you're never gonna do it make your plans around prayer so like i am common and you have to know the prayer times to do that so download an adhan app get familiar with the prayer times and when you go to make plans for example like if you're gonna hang out with your friends wait until isha that goes off pray your isha you go have fun for the rest of the night you don't have to worry about it and i think like another really important tip is just get off your phone put your phone down stop distracting yourself because these distractions are gonna do us in, okay? So if you haven't prayed yet, get off your phone and go do your salat. So guys, as you saw for yourself, like when I even showed that to my wife and I said, looking at this video, like, you know, this girl, what comes to your mind? She was like, you know, maybe someone that likes to have fun, outgoing party, someone that's a party girl, etc. And I was like, wow, like, you know, we generalize. And I did this before in Speaker's Corner as well, sadly. You know, it's not something that we want to do, but it's just, you know, maybe we're just conditioned or whatever it may be. Okay, I saw a, a um, sister, for example, because I was giving Dawa leafless house, etc. So I saw a sister with blonde hair, etc. Standing there and I thought, let me give it to her. And then a brother came and said, oh, she's a Muslim. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, the thing is, yeah, obviously... I'm not to blame because I'm giving Dao material, do you get it? And I'm looking at, like, to me, anyone that has a beard or looks like a bit of a Muslim, there's, you can't really say it's, there's a specific person that looks like a Muslim. Of course, you have the symbols, etc. But isn't it amazing and so beautiful and heartwarming that Muslims all over the world, especially in the West, a lot of women are flocking to Islam, yeah? A lot of women are flocking to Islam, alhamdulillah, because Islam gives the rights of a woman in the right way and honours her. So this sister, when she was speaking and she was talking about I do my five a day, and I'm thinking five a day, I'm thinking, okay, you know, apple, oranges, make sure she has a five a day. And then, <clears throat> when I saw it, and she was talking about prayer, I was like, damn, well, like, like, subhanAllah, like, firstly, I was so happy. Secondly, it made me realise, you know what, Ali, don't ever think or judge people and think, you know what, 
this person is not. Wallahi, you guys do not know. If we saw that sister walking down the road, that some brothers, they'll be looking and thinking, oh, she's probably like this or like that. She's probably one of these girls. You know nothing about it. And that's why it's so important to not to have negative assumptions. Allah says in the Quran that even negative assumptions can be a sin. We should assume the best. Who would have thought that this is a sister who prays her salah five times a day and she's given a reminder that we should all pray our salah? Who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? None of us. Do not ever judge a sister who wears a hijab or doesn't wear the hijab. You do not know their affairs. The same with a brother. A brother who might be dressed up in a certain way, has an earring, whatever it may be, we should never judge. And this is what this exactly taught me. And it was such a beautiful thing to see that Muslims come from in different shapes and different colours. And alhamdulillah, and what really stood out to me is that her dedication to her salah. We have, don't forget guys, we do have people, individuals, who may observe the hijab and the niqab but don't pray salah. So it's very important for us, and I'm not belittling that, oh, we should not wear the hijab. No, we should do that also as well. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy on this river sister. Inshallah, one day she'll wear the hijab as well. But salah is so key in her life that she has acknowledged it. Brothers and sisters, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I found it beautiful. How did you find it? And what was your first impressions? Uh, maybe maybe, maybe not, it's best not to share maybe first impressions, but hope you learned a lesson uh, as much as I did. And may Allah bless her. Please, I'm going to send this video to her as well. May Allah keep you firm, sister. My dear sister, may Allah bless you with the best in this life and hereafter. And keep you uh, going, inshallah, with these amazing reminders. And keep firm to your salah. You're going to have your ups and downs. I'm going to go. Till next time, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Let's not judge anybody based on how they look, whatever, however, they, however they look, um, and whatever the appearance they may, they may be. Because they might be more close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than you and me. Well, that actually rhymed. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jajan, you know, it's, it's funny. It's funny how people just literally judge you by the way you look. You know, there's always this certain demeanor. They say it, it, there's always a certain demeanor which a person probably exudes to exudes or exudes. The certain demeanor a person exudes to the what I guess so it's like mo most of the time people just judge you by the way you look the way you talk the way you dress without really understanding your whole story I think it's always important to find out the background of someone you know because some people when it comes to Islam like probably myself I belong in a world in, in a country where people don't really sit things bad about Islam but individually on a personal level most people don't like Islam you know and it's just kind of hard to be accepted if you are a Muslim it's like uh, Islam is like an, an unmentioned evil the letter, the, they don't really bother Muslims but at the same time they don't really want Muslims so it's it's kind of hard, like people just look at you, they judge you. I think even just among Muslims, though we judge ourselves, it's important that we don't judge ourselves. We get to understand someone. If you feel someone is doing something wrong, rather than saying bad things to them, approach them or talk to them. Rather, don't even talk to them, like show them. I think the best way to help someone or the best way to make people understand who Muslims are is by the way we live our lives. You know, the things we do, actions, I think actions are really a stronger way to show people what Islam is about compared to just words you know alright so I hope you like the video so this has been Muslim React where we react to everything and anything Muslim so until next time inshallah peace